Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Young Scientist presentation session of the GYSS. Um, today, uh, I'm happy to have three uh, speakers um, at this uh, session. And so the first one is uh, Bing Lu. He's a postdoctoral fellow at the Singapore Center for 3D Printing at the Nanyang Technological University. And that is also where he got his PhD, uh, uh, where he completed his PhD. So um, for his research, he had gotten a combination award before at the ACI AS conference 2019 uh, for his work on the development of sustainable 3D printable uh, cementitious materials. And today he's going to tell us about how uh, he can tackle uh, the issue of the petroleum and oil refinery industry producing large amounts of fluid catalytic cracking ash uh, by presenting a new method that can utilize this uh, FCC ash as a partial replacement material of uh, cement in these uh, 3D printable concrete materials. Hi everyone, my name is Lubin and currently I'm a research fellow at Singapore Center for 3D Printing, Nanyang Technological University. My presentation topic is Sustainable 3D Concrete Printing with Fluid Catalytic Cracking Ash, FCC Ash. Firstly, let me introduce the background. Compared with other industries, such as the manufacture, uh, has takes about 30% greenhouse gas emission and 8% global greenhouse gas comes from the cement production. So uh, this current situation of the productivity and carbon issues call for the revolution in the construction industry. And at the same time, we need to think about the alternative sustainable materials with less cement usage. On another front, crude oil refinery is a key industry in Singapore. A large amount of crude oil is processed every day, in which generates tons of waste, including the FCC ash. Currently, the major waste treatment for FCC ash is landfill disposal, which creates issues to the living environment and also consumes the land resources. Hence, we need to source for the alternative waste treatment method for FCC ash. Can we use the FCC ash as a cement substitute? The answer is yes, because firstly, the FCC ash shares the similar chemical composition to the cement, and secondly, the FCC ash also possess certain chemical reactivity so that it can be used in the early hydration of the cement. So the FCC ash can be applied as a cement substitute. Regarding the construction productivity we mentioned before, the, we bring the 3D concrete printing into the building and construction field. So as you can see in the figures, the previously we used the conventional casting method. And after that, we use the precast concrete technology to construct the structures. Now we use the 3D concrete printing. As you can see in these figures, the structures can be firstly printed in the factory and then assembled on site. Compared with conventional casting method and precast concrete, the 3D concrete printing provides benefits of less waste less labor investment and higher efficiency. Therefore, it is regarded as a key technology in the future smart city development. It is hence brought to our attention that whether we can use the FCC ash to develop our 3D printable concrete. If this is accessible, then uh, it can be a win-win strategy for both construction industry and oil refinery industry. On the one hand, the cement usage is reduced, which leading to the bad, better sustainability. On the other hand, the, uh, it also provides an alternative waste treatment method for the oil refinery industry. So this drives the motivation of this study. Firstly, let's look at the printing setup. We can see that the printing system consists of two parts. One is the delivery part and the other is control part. In the actual printing, the material will be delivered from the pump through the hose to the nozzle and the movement of the nozzle is controlled by the gantry so that it can move as per our designed program. 
this is the designed structure in our study. So it is a, a column with 500 millimeter height and 50 layers. So for the successful printable material, it should meet certain rheological requirements to have good pumpability and buildability. The material needs to to be pumped easily from the hole from the pump through the hose to the nozzle, and after extruded from the nozzle, it should resist the gravity from upper layers, and the whole printed structure cannot have large deformation or even collapse. In addition to this specific rheological properties, the, uh, we also require the material to have low toxicity because we know that the crude oil itself contains many heavy metals. So we need, uh, so we need to check whether the toxicity meets our acceptance criteria if we introduce the FCC ash in our mixtures. The good pumpability is uh, associated with the pumping pressure. So the pumping pressure can be controlled by many parameters such as Q, R, and L, the flow rate and the dimensions of the uh, hose. However, the two controlling material factor are, factors are the dynamic air stress and plastic viscosity. So if a material has low dynamic air stress and low plastic viscosity, then the pumping pressure will be lower. This, this suggests that the material has a good permeability. On the other hand, the material itself should also have good buildability so that the printed structure can be higher. So uh, we can see that it is associated with the static year stress. With a high static year stress, the maximum printing height will be higher, which suggests that the material has good buildability. So we can see that when we increase the FCC ash substitution percentage, hereby we, sub we replace cement by FCC ash at 0%, 10%, and 20%. We also tried 30%, but if we replace 30% cement by the FCC ash, then it will cause the blockage because the uh, static year stress gets too high and also the, uh, it sets qu quite, uh, quite fast. So it hardens quite fast inside the, inside the hose. So we can see that the dynamic gear stress and path viscosity do not change too much with different FCC ash content. And uh, the pumping pressure will also not change too much. Uh, hence, it indicates that the pumpability is less influenced by the FCC ash content. However, with more FCC ash content, the, the buildability is, is significantly enhanced. The steady year stress and the evolution of the steady year stress are greatly improved. We can see that the black line stands, stands for the minimum required static year stress for the bottom layers. So uh, with, with more layers, the, this value will be higher. And we can see that for the, um, our control material, which where, where, the, where there is no FCC ash, the steady year stress of the mixture is lower than the required value at certain layer. And correspondingly, in the printing process, we can see that the printed structure shows a large deformation at 12 layers and finally collapse at 15th, 15th layer. However, for the developed material with FCC ash, hereby we replace 20% cement by FCC ash. The static year stress is quite high and it is always higher than the required value in the printing process. And the evolution of the static year stress is quite obvious. And we can see that the structure can be printed uh, very successfully without any uh, noticeable deformation. It also uh, passed the leaching test so that we, our developed material uh, has very few uh, leaching, leached trace heavy metals and it le has less heavy metal leaches than the FCC, raw FCC ash. To conclude, 
the partial replacement of cement by FCCH does not have significant effect on pumpability. However, it greatly contributes to the static gas stress and its evolution. Hence, it uh, greatly enhances the uh, buildability. The developed material with FCCH has superior printing performance as we can uh, see from the uh, content uh, for, uh, content before. Uh, and the heavy metal contaminate is further immobilized in the developed material. The study brings the benefits to the construction industry and oil refinery industry in terms of smart construction, leaching improvement, and covering emission reduction. It also provides an alternative waste treatment method for FCCH. This is an acknowledgement for the study, and this is the reference list for this presentation. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, Dr. Liu, for the very clear talk. Really love the results on a promising solution for sustainable living uh, in cities. Um, so, um, are there any questions? Um, okay, so I see that there's one uh, from Dr. Ahmed over here. Uh, thank you, Dr. Liu, for sharing your work. Is this technology applicable for RCC structures? And what should the maximum size of course aggregate be? Okay, uh, thanks for your question. I would say the technology is uh, uh, built for the 3D printable concrete and uh, uh, for the size, maximum size of concrete uh, cost aggregate, actually it is limited to your printing system. In our system, it is uh, about two millimeter uh, of the size limitations, but uh, if you use a large hose with a large nozzle, then this limitation will be lifted. Okay, thank you. Um, there's another question from Dr. Lawrence Tan. Do you find any difference in how brittle the material is with increasing concentrations of FCC ash? Okay, uh, actually we haven't conducted this uh, check. I mean, uh, usually uh, for check whether uh, this material is brittle or not, we can uh, do the tensile test. You need actual tensile test to see its uh, tensile capacity, but we haven't conducted this uh, test. Um, I think uh, since we did not add fiber inside the matrix, and this is uh, pure, uh, this can be comparable to the concrete material, so it will be quite brittle. I will say uh, the next step of the uh, improvement can be at um, can be adding the fibers to uh, improve its uh, um, uh, improve its uh, 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 tensile performance so that it will not be so brittle. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you. Are there any other questions? Oh, okay. Here's another one from Dr. Guo Ping Hu. Is the FCC ash toxic at all? Okay. Um, since the FCC uh, is a, a critical process in the oil refinery industry, so we know that the crude oil contains some heavy metals, and we did check the uh, check the heavy metal levels of the FCC ash. So it did contain some heavy metals, but uh, uh, from our sample, the received FCC ash does not. Uh, it is not so toxic. And uh, through our uh, experiment, we find that our developed material with FCC ash can uh, further enhance the um, this safety. Uh, but I will say it's also a uh, case to case. So um, I will say generally it's uh, not so toxic, but I will, our technique, our technology can make it uh, much more safer. That's great. Um, really looks very promising. Um, are there any other questions from the floor? Okay, if not, I have one. Uh, so, so far, Dr. Liu, uh, you discussed uh, pumpability and buildability uh, with yes. the FCC ash uh, content. Um, how about the load that the 3D printed material can bear for a given design? Uh, how, how would the weight of this load uh, be expected to scale with the FCC ash content. Okay. Um, uh, the yeah, the key is the is uh, 
the key is its uh, fresh properties. So uh, we can see that uh, uh, the material has a very high buildability so that uh, uh, it can resist the gra gravity from upper layers. And uh, so it under this um, um, experiment, uh, under these uh, lab uh, conditions, we can see that it can um, support many layers and uh, considering is a very short saving time, we believe it can also build even higher. And uh, for the uh, concrete strength, for, for the strength of the material, the long-term strength of the material, we also examined and it is comparable to our uh, common concrete materials. So I, I would say it, uh, the uh, our design material is uh, 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 is a good um, uh, is a good material for the three D concrete printing, and also it uh, provides an alternative solution for the um, treatment waste treatment of FCC ash. Okay, great. Um, one last quick question from uh, Dr. Ahmed. Uh, considering the toxic nature of FCC ash, will it affect the long term durability of concrete? Okay. Um, <clears throat> The toxic nature of the FCC ash uh, is admitted, but uh, as I just mentioned, its uh, uh, toxic level is greatly reduced compared uh, compared with the raw FCC ash if we introduce this in our uh, concrete structures. And uh, actually, this uh, level already meets the um, Singapore. Uh, Na Singapore National Environment Agency's criteria. So if we do not use it in the concrete materials. If uh, then we just um, put it for landfill, it may it will generate more um, a safe hazard. So I think uh, uh, from both the durability of the concrete and the um, environment uh, per aspect, I will say it is okay. Uh, uh, but uh, we for the long term experiment we haven't conducted but we think it should be you uh, should meet our requirement okay uh thank you dr lu i think this concludes this segment um maybe we can have the next speaker uh, disha thank you very much thank you dr lu